All right, so look, um, we just woke up. We're about to head back to Atlanta. Like, I literally just woke up. Well, I took a shower first before I cried. And I brushed my teeth. But here's the deal, right? The cutting program that we're designing that we're going to be selling after I finish designing it and after I finish actually going through it is going to be high intensity. So I want you guys to be starting now. I don't want you guys to be waiting for the program to start. The program is really designed to get that last 20 hard pounds off so get started now and once you get the program the program will just take you to the next level all right so don't wait on don't wait on the program to get started get started today we about to be out shit boy back to atlanta We just got off the road, drove, I don't know, it took about six or seven hours to get back to Atlanta. And I'm at my childhood friend's crib, my man KJ. I haven't seen him in a minute. This has been my boy since I was like 12 or 13 years old, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> what up, baby? What's good, man? Hey, let your heathen eyes move it. What's move up? From uh, my church <laughs> and another one down the street. <laughs> I just text you and ask you, yo, where you I text you back. I'm doing like mad shit. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't move. Hold on. Let me just let him out. Because you know he's like, Adriel, get down. So we uh, we leaving my friends, we leaving my friend KJ's house. I almost killed myself on that bike. That was fun. It's always fun to put your life in danger I'm once in a I while. Missed it. That was fun. So now we're about to head to her sister's house, to Candace, Candace's sister's house, and we're gonna get a run in and relax a little bit before the comedy show. Turn right in point three miles. So we just pulled up to Cammy's sister's house. It's pretty dope out here. It's like right in the middle of Atlanta. So we're about to put our stuff in the house and go for a run. We made it. My mango. My mango. My mango. My mango. It's a go, go, go. It's a go, go, go. It's a go, go, go. All right, so we ran. We ran uh, four, four and three quarter miles, almost five miles, down the Beltway and back. But it was crucial because about two and a half miles back, the incline was was steep. So that really challenged us a great deal. But it's over with. Now it's time to eat. We earned our lunch. Yes. Wait, what time is it? <laughs> it's 5:30. We earned our lunch. Yeah. Where's Mod? Mod! Mod! <whistles> oh, Mod's in. What's up? What's up? Come here. Come here. Come here. Say hi. What's up? What's up? What's up? Serious. It's serious business. I had a whole bunch of other dope 
uh, footage that I actually lost from that vlog. So I decided to do a Q&A. So Ben Originals 18 asks, what tip would you give to anyone about changing their mindset for their weight loss journey? First and foremost, you have to be clear on why you're doing it. I, I think that's the first thing you need to ask yourself. And um, form a vision, form a vision for your body, form a vision for your life, and make sure you're doing it for the right reasons. If you're doing it for, uh, you know, to be able to fit in smaller jeans or to look good, yes, that's ultimately the reason why a lot of us do it. But that it takes so much work to transform your body, to make significant change in your body, that it it's gonna take a deeper reason it has to be about your family it has, it has to be about your health it has to be about something more than just looking good so approach it with that mindset you know that this is about improving my life or improving the lives the lives of others and just that approach alone is going to take you so much further with this nigel 12 asks all right so when you begin to become more disciplined in yourself in your workout plan is that when you begin seeing progress yeah i've seen progress and you can see progress with any weight loss program but the question is is that progress going to be sustainable is it going to be significant over a long period of time um so discipline was definitely a big factor in me being able to transform my body and transform my life but it's more than just discipline it's it's more so about consistency and resiliency because the discipline is going to run out so once the discipline runs out you know that's when your your why kicks in why you know why you're actually doing this and your undying will to just achieve whatever you know goal that you have set in mind because the, like i said the discipline will, will run out um, but discipline do, did help me out in the beginning to help form the habits that eventually led to me transforming my body and transforming my life. They forgot about Dre asks, how do you feel about apple cider vinegar? And can you take BCAAs more than once a day? Um, I've, I've never really done the apple cider, cider vinegar, vinegar cleanse. I hear great things about that. So I, I would go ahead and endorse the apple cider, cider vinegar. Um, and as far as BCAAs, I take BCAAs a few times a day. You know, I, I, I drink it uh, once in the morning and I probably drink some during my workout. So uh, you can take, it even says it on the container, you can take it up to three times a day, I believe. Rich Boy John asks, is it more important to hit your macros or to hit your calories? That's a really good question. Um, at the end of the day, Yes, your macros are important, which is, if you're not familiar with macros, the split of your calories between carbs, proteins, and fats. That's very important. But more so, uh, you know, it's more important to actually create a deficit in your caloric intake for the day. So, um, I'd say making sure that you, ha you have a caloric deficit, making sure that you're eating at least 300 to 500 calories less than you're burning is ultimately the most important thing when it comes to, to fat loss. So, yes, you want to try to hit your macros, but if you don't hit them, that's that's fine too. You can still lose weight without hitting them. But the tighter you are on your macros, the, the, the better your results will be if you have your macros dialed properly. And I think I'm going to end the vlog right here. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not. Shout out to the Brick Squad, man. We growing, y'all. We at like, what, 55,000? This is insane, man. I'm excited. Um, but get well and get money.